How would you like to play Overwatch 2 on Steam OS with no caching fix and using standard Steam OS with Proton? No doubt this fix will hit the Proton GE line any second now, but if you don't want to wait, thanks to an awesome Discord member, we have a fix for you. First off, what you'll need to do is switch over to desktop mode. Open your favorite browser. For some reason, Chrome has stopped working for me and I need to reinstall it. And head to the link in the description below to the drive folder. Now in here, you want to download the Proton TKG Proton Wine 704 version, which is a patched version of the 704 release. And once that's downloaded, just hit right click and extract. And then extract archive to. In here, you want to navigate to the home folder. If you don't see the dot files here, you need to go into this little arrow and options and make sure show hidden files is ticked. And in here, go to dot steam. And then steam. And then look for the compatibility tools dot D folder. Now, if you don't have this folder, you just need to create one and then you can drop the extracted archive in here. Just make sure it's called compatibility tools.d. Hit the extract button and wait around a minute for this to extract, and then you can check on the files to make sure they're all there. Once that's finished extracting, you need to exit Steam. Now, if you just switch to game mode from here, then that will also do the trick. But you'll want to look at the command arguments.txt file. That is also included in here so that you can see the shader compiling and also make sure that it launches correctly. Just download that text file and copy them. And then in Steam, under your battle.net.exe, set the compatibility to the Proton Wine version that you just downloaded and set the launch arguments from that command argument file. Now, if you don't have battle.net installed, you can follow the guide that I've put in the description below here on the channel. Once you've done that, you can switch over to game mode and hit play. Now you'll notice that straight away this launches so much faster and no danger of double clicking that play button now as by the time that it goes away, the game has launched. This is real time just to show you just how much better this version is. You can see that it freezes a little bit on the load. It still has the issue where occasionally it doesn't run first time. It did take me two attempts to run this before it showed up as normal. But as you can see, now I've loaded up, we get compiling shaders for all of around 30 seconds, and then it stabilizes. One thing I did note is you do get a fair few lag spikes in the first few minutes of this, and you do want to come into the settings and make sure dynamic render scale is off, otherwise your frame time will jump around all over the place. And I also did set my frame rate limit to 60 as well, keeping the rest of these on the standard low setting. Once that's applied, you can hop into game and play to your heart's content. No waiting 8 to 12 minutes for the shaders to compile anymore. One thing to note though is I did get a few loading spikes, quite big spikes in game for the first few minutes, but once it got over those it was smooth sailing so just be aware that you will get some spikes when you start playing i think this is doing some either on the fly shader caching or just loading sections of the map which takes quite a hit on the steam deck but once that's loaded you can see that it flatlines at 60 frames per second and you can enjoy the game to your heart's content let us know in the comments below how you get on and hopefully the Proton GE version will get updated soon, including these fixes, so it will be even easier for you to update via Proton QT up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.